Turning to housing, um, this morning when I found out we were going to have a concurrence um, motion and debate on housing, I, I gave my mortgage broker a call back in, uh, in, in the Fraser Valley. And right now the average cost of a home in British Columbia in April 2023 was $995,000 and change. The average detached home in the Fraser Valley or Greater Vancouver region cost northward of $1.2 million. So I, I talked to my mortgage broker, Vic, and I said, Vic, what does it take for a young person to get into housing today? So if we go off the assumption that a basic home, a very, a very, very modest home in, in Abbotsford is going to be about $1.2 million, and I see the member from Langley in the chamber too, and it's probably about northward of $1.3, $1.2 He's, he's pointing his finger up, $1.4 million in Langley. Yes, it is a bit cheaper in Abbotsford. So for a $1.2 million home in Abbotsford, uh, for a single detached home, which would be the, the cheapest houses on the market, you would need a down payment of $240,000. If you were to, to, and before I go on any further, I'll be splitting my time with the member from Wellington Halton Hills. If you were to purchase that home, not only would you need that 240 grand, you would also have to account for a property tax bill, a property transfer tax bill of $22,000 and legal fees of between one and $2,000 uh, to complete this transaction, not even accounting for any real estate fees that you're paying to your uh, listing or uh, the listing and selling agents. So to own, to buy a home today, a starter home in the Fraser Valley, you're looking at $275,000 and change that you're going to need in your pocket to buy that home. The average condo in BC costs about $500,000. If you wanted to buy a condo today, you would need approximately a down payment of $25,000. You would probably pay a transfer tax of about $8,000 and the similar legal fees of one to $2,000. But you might ask, well, why can't someone just start off with a condo? Why do they need a single family detached home? Well, when, when a home is valued or listed at under a million dollars, it's subject to the stress test. If it's over a million dollars, you basically need a 20% down payment uh, to purchase that home. Uh, so if you, uh, at today's interest rate of approximately 5%, you would need to qualify at the CMHC level of a 7.5% interest rate to buy that condo for $500,000. My mortgage broker, Vic, explained to me to buy a condo in Abbotsford, you would approximately need a household income of $125,000 to qualify. I will note, Madam Speaker, that the average income in Canada is approximately, or, or where I live, I should say, is about seventy-five dollars to $80,000. For anyone to get into the housing market today, you either have to have a lot, like a really high paying job, or you need to get help from your parents or receive some type of inheritance. Indeed, my mortgage broker said to me that he rarely, if ever, sees anyone doing it on their own today. That's a really important point to make. People can't do it on their own today. Some people have parents won the real estate lottery and they're able to help their children. Some of their parents may, some, par some people seeking to enter the housing market may have uh, some inheritance from a grandparent. But for a lot of people, they don't have those things. They, they have to do it themselves. And the cost of doing it on your own today is astronomical. In fact, it is such an astronomical amount of money that most people are giving up hope. 